A surge of email has recently hit my inbox, so today I did the periodic purge. That is, rather than just delete all those nice to read emails, I decided to officially unsubscribe. Holy smokes, what a garden variety of ways to communicate the simple message, here's how you unsubscribe, and provide that simple option. Very few emailers communicated that message in a straightforward way and laid out the choices to click clearly. Most messages were laid out in such a confusing way that I had to read through the options several times and or actually search for the unsubscribe choice. Intentional? Maybe. Poor communication? Definitely. When business writers commit such blunders in everyday communication, customers and colleagues grow frustrated at that wasted time. If you think you may be the cause of such consternation when you write, consider the following items that need quick fixes. First, correct poorly designed forms online and on paper. I recently completed and returned a registration form on a software package. A week later, it came back to me inside an envelope with a hand-scrawled note across the top. What product did you buy? Sure enough, on the line of the form that said product purchased, I had written the name of the store where the product had been purchased. Why the confusion? Well, the line above it asked what date and city. So I assumed the product purchase phrase referred to where purchased, what store, catalog, or website. It never occurred to me that the manufacturer would enclose a registration card with no reference or code whatsoever to identify the specific product on their bounce back card. What's their expense in returning such forms to confuse customers? Well, I'll let you guess. Often the same people who have difficulty designing clear forms are putting them online, creating the same frustration for users. Flashing a message that says, invalid entry, invalid entry, registration cannot be processed until complete, does not help the situation. As in so many other cases, the usefulness of the medium is dependent on the clarity of the message. Another guideline, understand hierarchy. Just as executives typically have larger offices than entry-level employees, major ideas should have more prominence than minor ideas in the document. Size and placement of the ideas suggest their relationship and the importance. Know where to list with bullets or know whether to list with bullets or numbers. Listing items with numbers suggests that the total is important or that the chronology is significant. For example, would you use numbers with steps and a process? Of course, but numbering lists of information without either of these reasons confuses people. In short, business writing and most especially technical writing, is not just about getting the words right. Clarity involves the logic and the look.